Good morning. Hi, this is Suze Laventero. Okay, so, well, there's a lot going on in the world, isn't there? Okay, so, well, the best thing we can do is each individual work on self and self-study and uh, do what we can to maneuver our own energy, right? Um, we can't control the outside world, but we can move our own energy. Okay. And Okay, so there was a Libra reading I did yesterday. I'm not sure if I'm going to post it or not. I don't know if it's still relevant. <laughs> so I'll go back and listen to it. I think it was only for one person, right? Okay, so, um, so we'll see if I post that or not. Okay, but today what I'd like to do is more like a healing type reading. So... Um, I feel like some of the situations we've been in is uh, through things being suppressed and now they're popping up because of the Pluto retrograde and uh, we do have the Saturn return coming so um, so what we want to do is uh, move in our honor and move in our integrity as much as possible. And uh, and if there's something you need to work through, uh, my suggestion is hand it over to spirit, right? Okay. And know your direction. And uh, be open to new potentials. Okay. And sometimes... Um, well, let's get going. All right. Woo! All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, pick a roomy card, and then I'm going to pick one out of this. This is Alana Fairchild, both of these. And I'm going to pick a card from each one for each sign. So we'll see. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a reading. Okay, so let's start with, let's start with Aries. Okay. Ooh, we have the future golden, okay. What is this? 4-4. Four, four. Ooh, interesting. Yesterday, when I looked at the clock, it was 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Okay, and here's 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so 40 and 4-4 four, four is uh, also in the Bible, I think. Okay. All right, so that might be a message for someone. Okay, so leave the future golden. Ooh, the cloak of Christ. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. All right, so four for me is love, right? And sometimes love without wisdom can uh, come out a little funky. Okay, so <laughs> that's the only way I could put it. All right, but. Okay, so it's like. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm getting something with gravity here. Okay, and it's like a scientist, and he's showing me an apple here. See? An apple with seeds. Okay. So that's what you've been planting are these new seeds in the fabric of your universe and expanding that. Okay. So it's like bringing in the heavens again and then rising up to the light from the physical reality. Okay.
Okay, so value. Let's bring in value here. I feel like this is important. Okay, so we give everything value. And we decide as a collective to the things that we give value to, such as money and things like that. And it's real important um, I feel like it's very important to give value to life, right? Human life. Every human, no matter what's going on, has value. They're a special being to this also Christ energy, right? Okay, each individual is beautiful and they have something to contribute in the collective, uh, the melting pot of creation. Okay, so if we look at it like that and we're a whole, right? Like a whole apple, right? That, so it's like if we can get away from seeing each other as separate and seeing each other as one whole unit, right? Like for example, <clears throat> instead of two humans, seeing like the one, seeing the one body as the entire universe, okay? And that's one body. And what happens within that one body can affect the other parts, right? Okay, so uh, it's the same with the human body. What happens in one part of the body can affect the another part of the body. So it's real important to take care of the whole body, right? Body, mind, and spirit. Okay. And I feel like if we move with that kind of attitude and that oneness and the love for each other and the love and recognition of the value of each human life, I feel like we can weave the future golden. Okay. All right. <clears throat> So let's read this card, 44. Okay, so the card before is the Veil of Shadows. So you might have gone through some tough times here, right? But things are looking golden now, okay. Something good is coming your way. Quan Yin urges you to weave your future into the present moment. Now, if you don't believe in Quan Yin, or you can put in your avatar, or source energy, or God, or Christ, or Jesus Christ, you know, so whatever uh, it is that you can relate to, an angel, okay. So something good is coming your way. Kuan Yin urges you to weave your future into the present moment, to call in and draw to you the opportunities, teaching, circumstances, and the synchronicities waiting for you. That will enable your soul to live in a divine destiny with greater abundance, bliss, and creative fulfillment. Okay. Healing and weaving your golden future. Imagine that you are sitting in a golden, soft light. Kuan Yin is with you as a beautiful goddess, her eyes filled with love and encouragement. She gently motions ahead, and you follow her gesture with your grace. Before you, there is a golden path and a beautiful shining sun at the end of the path. Together, you send love to the sun, and it draws you closer, and it draws closer to you. You feel your heart expand and love filling your being. Allow the love uh, that you send to draw the sun as close as possible. You might even be ready to dissolve yourself in loving warmth of the sun. It will feel energizing and peaceful to you do, to do this. Visualize or feel the light of the sun shining on you and all beings, bringing peace and happiness. Imagine this feeling becoming stronger than any other feeling you have held in the past. Imagine feeling the sun actually shining in your heart uh, as you open your eyes. A prayer to weave the golden future. 
Beloved Kuan Yin, thank you for being my spiritual witness. Beyond time and space, there is only love, truth, bliss, and joy. And I now choose to dip into the waters of my own divine essence to call into the present moment the good that has vested for me spiritually. I ask for grace, wisdom, and skill needed to put this future uh, good into perfect expression in the present moment. May I weave my future golden into this present moment. Thank you. Om Mani Padme Hum.